This is Steve. Steve bought his first income property four years ago, and he loves it so much he wants to buy more. But with an uncertain economy, his mortgage up for renewal, and an increase in property taxes, he needs the underperforming basement to start pulling its weight. And fast. He needs help. I have dozens of rental properties and hundreds of tenants, and I know the best home you can have in this economy is one with an income suite. Steve bought his house for $337,000. His mortgage payment is $1,900 a month. Steve bought his first income property four years ago, and he dreams of buying many more. But before he can wrap his head around the future, he needs to get his current investment property working for him. Hey, Scott. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Good. So you've got a triplex. I do. I live on this floor and I rent out the main floor apartment and the basement apartment. I bought the place about four years ago and I've actually had the same uh, tenants throughout the whole period. Are your tenants paying good money? The main floor tenant is. Uh, the tenant that was living down in the basement, um, I couldn't really get as much uh, money as I would have liked to, but predominantly because there is a lot of work that was still needed to be done. Well then the best bet is to see what we can do to get more rent out of the basement. Absolutely. Let's check your place out first, though. Perfect. Here's the uh, bathroom. Somebody really didn't think this bathroom through. No, you can tell a lot of space put together very quickly. We kind of made more room in the attic in order to turn it into a bedroom. And did you put this balcony out, too? Uh, yes, I did. This is great. It's like you have your own yard now. It's good for entertaining. Hopefully you're learning a lot as a landlord as how to maintain the place. And there's also a delicate balance of uh, doing things that you would ultimately like your home to look like, but you have to remember that this isn't going to be your home. You're even starting to sound like me now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check out this basement. Okay. Let's see what we can do. This is the entrance to the uh, basement apartment. Gonna be walking, uh, I guess, into the kitchen. Wow, are you ever walking into the yeah, kitchen? Yeah, <laughs> walking it's... straight into it. It's pretty hideous. And as you can also see, the space isn't necessarily used well. Uh, I just hit my head on that. <laughs> this kitchen is not cooking. Wow. So I think this was the main living area, the den. The carpets need replacing, the place needs repainting, the lighting is totally off. Are the lights on? Where's the switch? The two lights, lights are on. There's no difference between lights on and lights there off. There isn't. This is the bathroom between the color of the tiles and the poor choice of grout. That's pretty hideous. Yeah. Oh, well, at least there's a lot of privacy in this washroom. You can't even lock the door to your bathroom. It, I think that actually was one of the more recent things that just happened. And you were right on top of it. I was going to get to that had he not moved. <laughs> this, I think, was the bedroom. Home sweet home. Absolutely. So as you can see, again, the car Absolutely. <laughs> the carpeting is uh, old. Oh, is that carpet? Yeah. Um, don't disturb it. I don't want to get sick. I have a pretty good idea of what you're looking for down here. So I'm going to do some work around here, some measurements, some floor plans, and come up with a couple scenarios that you, Mr. Landlord, are ultimately going to have to decide. I like having options, so I'm excited.
Well, I'm glad you brought Janet. I mean, she's a good friend. Yeah, Janet and I have been friends since high school, and uh, she's also recently been involved with uh, quite a few home rentals herself. So are you going to help us with the renovation then? Uh, the physical help? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at making decisions. Okay, good. Well, then this is the perfect day for you to be here. Excellent. Because you have a decision to make. You know, you bought this house four years ago, and it's a triplex, which is a really smart investment. You've been living here with a very small mortgage payment. Yeah. And you've done some pretty significant improvements on the entire property, except for the basement. But now your tenant's moving out. You've got the perfect opportunity to bring the entire property up to speed. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for sure. Okay. Well, you paid $337,000 for the house four years ago. With $1,000 from the main floor, you're left with $900 a month in mortgage, and we're trying to eliminate as much of that as possible by getting that basement ready. So I'm gonna show you a couple options that I came up with. Okay. Option one is to maintain the same floor plan, but to really spruce the place up. The first thing we wanna do is to get it all legal. Get in your smoke detectors, get in the fire rating in the furnace room, and fix all the electrical issues. Put down new floors, new baseboards, make the whole place fresh. There's enough room to recess a fridge underneath the staircase, which is going to basically double the width of the opening when you walk downstairs. The idea of this reno is basically like a lipstick job, new floors, new paint, fix all the deficiencies, make it legal, and get it rented out as soon as possible. So I guess this will just be a living room, not like living room kitchen? You obviously don't have anywhere to eat in this kitchen. Yeah. Right. Right. We can dress it up as an eating area and a living room. That's not a big deal. This renovation is about $6,000 and this apartment would probably bring in about $750 a month in rent. That's gonna okay. bring your mortgage payment down to 150 bucks a month. Right. With the rent, I know that sounds ridiculous. That's all right. Yeah, I mean, ooh, $150, complain. I have come up with a second option. So the idea between option two is really putting uh, an intense investment into the basement. It's a complete overhaul. It's everything that's being done in option one, plus gutting the entire kitchen, ripping out the vanity and the toilet and the floors in the washroom, ripping out the floors in the kitchen, properly installing pot lights strategically throughout the apartment, mm -hmm. and we're still gonna be able to address all the other issues that are deficiencies at the moment. It's kind of the difference between a rentable apartment and a really awesome apartment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But obviously there's a price tag for this. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> Janet's like, how much oh, is this going to cost? This renovation would cost about $10,000. I think you could probably get $900 a month in rent for this, which means your mortgage will be completely covered by your tenants. Be between the $1,000 on the main floor and the $900 from the basement, you have no mortgage payment. That would really help free up the cash in order to complete the other rentals that still need to be done to this house. Steve, you're the businessman. It's your house. It's your decision. It does come down to budget, too. It does. It does. Like, I mean, as I said, the key is, is the delicate balance about getting what you want done, but in the same time, not over leveraging yourself. Absolutely. Um, so, I'm going to have to take a thought to consider this. You know, you bought this house four years ago, and it's a triplex, which is a really smart investment. And you've done some pretty significant improvements on the entire property, except for the basement. And that's fine. You inherit a tenant. It's really hard to renovate while they're living there. But now your tenant's moving out. You've got the perfect opportunity to bring the entire property up to speed. Option one is a lipstick job, new mm -hmm. floors, new paint fix all the deficiencies, make it legal, and get it rented out as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Option two, here's what we're doing. It's everything that's being done in option one, plus you're gonna have a whole new kitchen, new bathroom. Right. Which way do you think you're going? I think I'm gonna go with option two. Option two, eh? 
we can skip over the bathroom in option one this round, but sooner or later it's got to get done. Those floors have to get done, so yeah. it becomes even more difficult to to spend more time and uh, lose months of rent while that renovation is going on when I can get it all done this time around and then not have to worry about it. Option two is a great option. It's $10,000, but you're going to get $900 a month and you're going to have no mortgage payment left. So. I think you're making a good choice, for sure. Oh, if we have Janet to approve yeah. <laughs> Are you going to come down and help do some of the renovations? Absolutely. Uh, I'm good at um, destroying things and taking things apart. Are you talking about relationships or renovations? <laughs> Let's not get into that. <laughs> all right. Well, all that being said, <laughs> if you want this done for the first of the month, we got to move fast. So I'll let you know. We'll see you on Demolition Day. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Steve's property is a real estate investor's dream. The basement is a nightmare. The location of this kitchen is bad, but the condition is even worse. I'm going to remove the entire kitchen and open up the back wall where I can recess a new fridge. Then I'm going to lay new floors, install new cabinetry, and put on a new countertop. This will now be a great first impression for a tenant. This apartment has a generous amount of living space. However, it needs a major facelift. And here I'm going to put in new floors and baseboards, give it a fresh coat of paint, and install pot lights to brighten up the space. I want to make sure Steve's making enough rent to cover his new expenses, and then some. What I'd like to do before we even get started is to go through and make a list. Okay. All right, because I know you like to get a lot of people to come in and do the work for you, which is fine. Right. But you can save yourself a lot of money if you know exactly what needs to be done and you're a little more informed on the project instead of just having someone come and, hey, fix everything. Right. Right, we can kind of come in and maybe even do some of the things ourselves and save a lot of money. <laughs> it's a little sticky. You didn't tell me that, but... It's a little drafty, so... Yeah. See the screw here? Yep. That just lets more air out of this pump. Well, I just realized there's no door handle here either. So once you're in and you're locked, you're gonna have to pry it open. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So instead of like hiring someone to do this, we might as well just do it ourselves. We want we need one storm door handle. The weather stripping's finished here. Right. And this is again something that's pretty cheap and easy right. to fix. We need some weather stripping. Mm -hmm. Having a guy like Scott that's seen a lot of these apartments before and can give me strong suggestions on what you would want to spend money on and what you could spend money on but not necessarily see the return back. And that is something that um, being a landlord, you really got to get your head around quickly. This is just maintenance stuff. Yeah. And it doesn't cost you anything to just spend a few minutes. Done. Storm door fixed. Done. Cost zero dollars. Obviously, this is where we stash our pot. See? Janet's back to help. Perfect. I'd yeah. rather not, but I did say it help. This is the good times. What did you have for breakfast? Give her. Holy cow. glued down the carpets. Excellent. And there's no under pad. Perfect. Look how much mold there is right here. Yeah. There's your furnace room. That blows air through the whole house, right? Mm. So it's not like the mold just stays down here. Yeah, that's not good.
Look how much mold there is right here. Yeah. There's your furnace room. That blows air through the whole house, right? I absolutely do want to make sure that the mold gets cleaned up because even though we've taken the moldy carpet out, there's still mold on the ground itself. So if we've got an opportunity to fix the problem now, let's fix it, let's do it. Alex, what do you think about these pot lights, buddy? If you want good light, you, you have to go for halogen. Halogen. And low voltage. Low voltage, okay. Yeah, it's the best, you know. In my opinion, low voltage is the best. I want to brighten up this space, but I want to keep the lights recessed in the yeah. ceiling. And I don't want to have to tear down the drywall. We have the special tool. This is 72 inch bit. Bendable bit. And that's the way to go through the joists. I love it. So if we can put six proper pot lights in here without tearing down my ceiling. Yeah, for sure, man. You don't right. trust me? <laughs> I trust you. to learn the glamorous part of being a landlord. Awesome. Cleaning up a moldy apartment. So this is really just some detergent and water. And then I'm gonna use a mold control spray that I got at the hardware store. It'll kill any extra bacteria or mold. We cleaned up all the mold that was on the concrete floor. I removed a lot of the drywall that had mold on it and we replaced it with the Humitech, which is the mold and mildew resistant drywall. That's now in the bathroom and in the kitchen. Looks good, Johnny. Laminate floors are going down, are almost done. Did you finish the pot lights in here? Looks good. Oh, this is much better than before. It's finally starting to look like an income property. Check this out. It's prepping for the tile. I found this nasty ring and check out underneath it. Oh, not good. The whole flange is cracked right at the flange bolt. This is a problem. This is a big job. If we don't tile today, we're behind. <laughs> flange is cracked right at the flange bolt. I'm hoping that there can be a fix to it that doesn't entail extending the project because that cuts into now my timelines and getting another tenant down here. So I talked to the plumber uh -huh. about how this was broken right? and he actually said that there's a ring that you can buy and I said well, guess what there was one on there right? Right. This would have worked had it been installed properly. Okay. So I just bought a new one, 11 bucks. Okay. Super ring, it's called. This one's silicone and screwed down. This should keep the toilet in place, and that won't compromise the wax seal. Perfect. 11 bucks versus 300. I like that. Come in. Come in. You ready to see this basement or yes, what? Yes, we are. Oh, 
Oh my god. There's room. No more greasy countertop. Solid surface countertops. It's all okay. integrated, wow. right? The sink, everything is one solid piece. Wow. These can be refinished in like 20 years and they'll look brand spanking new. Okay. Non-porous, low maintenance. These are all standard size cupboards. Okay. You just puzzle them in like a jigsaw puzzle, right? Oh, oh my God. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool that there's lights in here now. I, I can actually see the place. Unbelievable. Wow, this looks really, really nice. <laughs> I can't believe how nice this looks. Seriously. Oh my God. I like the way you guys kept a little bit of a lighter color down here just to kind of bring in as much light as possible because it was very dark and awful. A couple design things. I'm not a designer, but there are some, you know, tricks we use. I like the floors are dark and they're really nice, but everything else has to be light to keep it bright. Wow. Wow. Doesn't this feel good? Yeah. Oh my god. It looks like a bedroom. I know we have the office space here too. That's right. Unbelievable. We did bedroom, office space, living space. Eating space, kitchen. We've given this apartment everything it needs, right? Yeah. Right. Stage wow. it so that a tenant can picture themselves. If they're an office type, they got office stuff. Right. They like the dining room, they got some dining space. Entertaining, kitchen. Unbelievable. This is I amazing. <laughs> I can't believe this. White, orange, and brown tiles are gone. Oh my god. Wow. Awesome. I love the tile in here. You like that? Yeah, I really like it. I like the vanity. It's good, huh? Yeah, yeah. I and mean, it's very lit up in here, which is nice. Remember, tenants are going to inspect the kitchens and the bathrooms first. Yeah. Right. So, small, uh, small investment, huge bang for your buck. Awesome. I love the color in here as well. You know what else? The door actually locks. That. <laughs> That's right, you can actually shut the door now. Changed all the door hardware in the apartment. I, I can't believe that the team came in here in two weeks and got this all completed and it now looks like this. Like anyone would be happy to live down here. It doesn't even look like a basement. The next steps for me would be to Get this place rented out, get the tenants leased. After that, start to take a look at properties around the neighborhood and, and start to, to get my next property. I brought a real estate appraiser through today. Okay. Loved the house, loved the location. He thinks that you're in a good position to sort of wait out the ups and downs of the market mm -hmm. and you're cash flowing, so you've got no reason to sell. He thinks your house is well over $400,000. Mm -hmm. which means you've got some money to play with there. Yep. It is a buyer's market, which means you can set yourself up in a really good position to pick up another property. Right. And he thinks that this apartment could easily, easily earn you $900 a month, plus the tenants can pay their own utilities. Yeah, but that's what I've been seeing around here, just haven't been able to kind of tap into that. Puts you in a great position. I mean, you've, you've protected yourself against your mortgage rate increases, right. against your property tax increases, Absolutely. right? Not to mention, you future-proofed the apartment. It's amazing, like I just can't believe this is the same place we were in two weeks ago. <laughs> You'll believe it on the first of the month. <laughs> on the first of the month, when the checks go in the bank, you'll believe it. Absolutely. Money talks, my friend, and this place talks. Talks about a four-piece washroom, all new laminate floors. Yeah, look at this kitchen. I mean, it's been so awesome.
surface countertops, it's all okay. integrated, wow. right? The sink, everything is one solid piece. Wow. These can be refinished in like 20 years and they'll look brand spank new. Okay. Non-porous, low maintenance. These are all standard size cupboards. Okay. You just puzzle them in like a jigsaw puzzle, right? Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool that there's lights in here now. I, I can actually see the place. Unbelievable. Wow. This looks really, really nice. <laughs> I can't believe how nice this looks. Seriously. Oh my God. I like the way you guys kept a little bit of a lighter color down here just to kind of bring in as much light as possible because it was very dark and awful. A couple designs. <laughs> I'm not a designer, but there are some, you know, tricks we use. I like the floors are dark and they're really nice, but everything else has to be light to keep it bright. Doesn't this feel good? Yeah. Oh my god, it looks like a bedroom. I know, we have the office space here too. That's right. Unbelievable. We did bedroom, office space, living space, eating space, kitchen. We've given this apartment everything it needs, right? Yeah. Right. Stage wow. it so that a tenant can picture themselves. If they're an office site, they got office stuff. Right. They like the dining room, they got some dining space. Entertaining, kitchen. Unbelievable. This is I amazing. I can't believe this. White, orange, and brown tiles are gone. Oh my god. Wow. Awesome. I love the tile in here. You like that? Yeah, I really like it. I like the vanity. It's good, huh? Yeah, yeah, and it's very lit up in here, which is nice. Remember, tenants are going to inspect the kitchens and the bathrooms first. Yeah. Right. So, small uh, small investment, huge bang for your buck. Awesome. I love the color in here as well. You know what else? The door actually locks. That. <laughs> That's right. You can actually shut the door now. Changed all the door hardware in the apartment. I can't believe that the team came in here in two weeks and got this all completed and it now looks like this. Like anyone would be happy to live down here. It doesn't even look like a basement. The next a lipstick job, new floors, new paint, fix all the deficiencies, make it legal and get it rented out as soon as possible. So I guess this would just be a living room, not like living room kitchen. You obviously don't have anywhere to eat in this kitchen. Yeah. Right. Right. We can dress it up as an eating area and a living room. That's not a big deal. This renovation is about $6,000 and this apartment would probably bring in about $750 a month in rent. That's going to okay. bring your mortgage payment down to 150 bucks a month. Right. With the rent. I know, that sounds ridiculous. That's all right. Yeah, I mean, ooh, $150. I'm I have come up with a second option. So the idea between option two is really putting uh, an intense investment into the basement. It's a complete overhaul. It's everything that's being done in option one, plus gutting the entire kitchen, ripping out the vanity and the toilet and the floors in the washroom, ripping out the floors in the kitchen, properly installing pot lights strategically throughout the apartment, mm -hmm. and we're still going to be able to address all the other issues that are deficiencies at the moment. It's kind of the difference between a rentable apartment and a really awesome apartment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But obviously there's a price tag for this. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> Janet's like, how much no, is this going to cost? This renovation would cost about $10,000. I think you could probably get $900 a month in rent for this, which means your mortgage will be completely covered by your tenants. Be between the $1,000 on the main floor and the $900 from the basement, you have no mortgage payment. That would really help free up the cash in order to complete the other rentals that still need to be done to this house. Steve, you're the businessman. It's your house. It's your decision. It does come down to budget, too. It does. It does. Like, I mean, as I said, the key is, is the delicate balance about 
getting what you want done, but in the same time, not over leveraging yourself. Absolutely. Um, so, I'm gonna have to take a thought to consider this. You know, you bought this house four years ago and it's a triplex, which is a really smart investment. And you've done some pretty significant improvements on the entire property, except for the basement. And that's fine, you inherit a tenant, it's really hard to renovate while they're living there, but now your tenant's moving out, you've got the perfect opportunity to bring the entire property up to speed. Option one is a lipstick job, new mm -hmm. floors, new paint, fix all the deficiencies, make it legal, and get it rented out as soon as possible. Option two, here's what we're doing. It's voltage. Low voltage, okay. Yeah, it's the best, you know. In my opinion, low voltage is the best. I want to brighten up this space, but I want to keep the lights recessed in the yeah. ceiling, and I don't want to have to tear down the drywall. We have the special tool. This is 72 inch bit. Bendable bit, and that's the way to go through the joists. I love it. So if we can put six proper pot lights in here without tearing down my ceiling. Yeah, for sure, man. You don't right. trust me? <laughs> I trust you. to learn the glamorous part of being a landlord. Awesome. Cleaning up a moldy apartment. So this is really just some detergent and water. And then I'm gonna use a mold control spray that I got at the hardware store. It'll kill any extra bacteria or mold. We cleaned up all the mold that was on the concrete floor. I removed a lot of the drywall that had mold on it and we replaced it with the Humitech, which is the mold and mildew resistant drywall. That's now in the bathroom and in the kitchen. Looks good, Johnny. Laminate floors are going down, are almost done. Did you finish the pot lights in here? Looks good. Oh, this is much better than before. It's finally starting to look like an income property. Check this out. It's prepping for the tile. Yeah. I found this nasty ring and check out underneath it. Oh, not good. The whole flange is cracked right at the flange bolt. This is a problem. This is a big job. If we don't tile today, we're behind. <laughs> Keep the toilet in place, and that won't compromise the wax seal. Perfect. 11 bucks versus 300. I like that. That's the way it's gotta be. You ready to see this basement or yes, what? Yes, we are. <laughs> oh my God, there's room. No more greasy countertop.
solid surface countertops. It's all okay. integrated, wow. right? The sink, everything is one solid piece. Wow. These can be refinished in like 20 years and they'll look brand spank new. Okay. Non-porous, low maintenance. These are all standard size cupboards. Okay. You just puzzle them in like a jigsaw puzzle, right? Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool that there's lights in here now. I, I can actually see the place. Unbelievable. Wow. This looks really, really nice. <laughs> I can't believe how nice this looks. Seriously. Oh my God. I like the way you guys kept a little bit of a lighter color down here just to kind of bring in as much light as possible because it was very dark and awful. A couple designs. <laughs> I'm not a designer, but there are some, you know, tricks we use. I like the floors are dark and they're really nice, but everything else has to be light to keep it bright. Doesn't this feel good? Yeah. Oh my god, it looks like a bedroom. I know, we have the office space here too. That's right. Unbelievable. We did bedroom, office space, living space, eating space, kitchen. We've given this apartment everything it needs, right? Yeah. Right. Stage wow. it so that a tenant can picture themselves. If they're an office site, they got office stuff. Right. They like the dining room, they got some dining space. Entertaining, kitchen. Unbelievable. This is I amazing. <laughs> I can't believe this. Right here? Yeah. There's your furnace room. That blows air through the whole house, right? I absolutely do want to make sure that the mold gets cleaned up because even though we've taken the moldy carpet out, there's still mold on the ground itself. So if we've got an opportunity to fix the problem now, let's fix it, let's do it. What do you think about these pot lights, buddy? If you want good light, you, you have to go for halogen. Halogen. And low voltage. Low voltage, okay. Yeah, it's the best, you know. In my opinion, low voltage is the best. I want to brighten up this space, but I want to keep the lights recessed in the yeah. ceiling. And I don't want to have to tear down the drywall. We have the special tool. This is 72 inch bit. Bendable bit. And that's a way to go through the joists. I love it. So if we can put six proper pot lights in here without tearing down my ceiling. Yeah, for sure, man. You right. trust me? <laughs> I trust you. to learn the glamorous part of being a landlord. Awesome. Cleaning up a moldy apartment. So this is really just some detergent and water. And then I'm gonna use a mold control spray that I got at the hardware store. It'll kill any extra bacteria or mold. We cleaned up all the mold that was on the concrete floor. I removed a lot of the drywall that had mold on it and we replaced it with the Humitech, which is the mold and mildew resistant drywall. That's now in the bathroom and in the kitchen. Looks good, Johnny. Laminate floors are going down, are almost done. Did you finish the pot lights in here? Looks good. Oh, this is much better than before. It's finally starting to look like an income property. Right, right, we can kind of come in and maybe even do some of the things ourselves and save a lot of money. 
It's a little sticky, you didn't tell me that, but it's a little drafty, so. Yeah. See this screw here? Yep. That just lets more air out of this pump. Well, I just realized there's no door handle here either. So once you're in and you're locked, you're gonna have to pry it open. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So instead of like hiring someone to do this, we might as well just do it ourselves. We want we need one storm door handle. The weather stripping's finished here. Right. And this is again something that's pretty cheap and easy right. to fix. We need some weather stripping. Mm -hmm. Having a guy like Scott that's seen a lot of these apartments before and can give me strong suggestions on what you would want to spend money on and what you could spend money on but not necessarily see the return back and that is something that um, being a landlord you really got to get your head around quickly this is just maintenance stuff yeah and it doesn't cost you anything to just spend a few minutes done storm door fixed done cost zero dollars See, this is where we stash our pot. See? <laughs> Janet's back to help. Perfect. I'd rather not, but I did say it help. This is the good times. What did you have for breakfast? Give her. Holy cow. Carpets. Excellent. And there's no under pad. Perfect. Look how much mold there is right here. Yeah. There's your furnace room. That blows air through the whole house, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like the mold just stays down here. Yeah, that's not good. Look how much mold there is right here. Yeah. There's your furnace room. That blows air through the whole house, right? I absolutely do want to make sure that the mold gets cleaned up because 